Well, here we go on Daily Reflections and yet another day. Um, today we're going to look at uh, about seeds, but we're going to be looking at it from the, per- the perspective of preparing the heart. And, uh, you know, it's about the soil. And as we are preparing the heart, the parable of the sower in Luke 8, it really provides a vivid image of how the condition of our hearts can influence the growth of our faith. And just as different types of soil yield different results for seeds, the state of our hearts can either foster or hinder the growth of God's word within us. And this comparison invites a deeper reflection on what it means to have a heart that is in good soil. And the idea of having a noble and good heart suggests the readiness and the openness to receive God's word. You know, it really implies that we are actively participating in the process of faith development, not passively waiting for God to work in us without any effort on our part. Just like a farmer prepares the soil by removing rocks, weeds and anything that might impede growth, we too need to prepare our hearts by removing the distractions and the barriers and to prevent God's word from taking root. In our own lives, we've seen how important it is to prepare our hearts to receive God's word. There have been times when our approach to scripture has has been blinded by by a distracted mind or the heart burdened by worries and doubts. And in these moments, we find that the word of God struggled to penetrate our hearts much like a seed that falls into rocky ground. However, when we intentionally take the time to quiet our minds and seek God's presence and approach his word with a genuine desire to learn and grow, we can notice a significant difference. You know, the scriptures began to resonate more deeply and the truths that we read take root in our hearts. So preparing our hearts involves an ongoing process to self-examination and openness to change. It requires humility to acknowledge the areas where we are resistant to God's work and the willingness to invite him to make the necessary changes. It's about proactive in cultivating a heart that is in fertile ground for faith and growth. And this can be done through regular prayers, consistent Bible study and moments of reflection. Where we ask God to reveal the state of our hearts and to remove anything that hinders his word from taking root. You know, the call to retain the word and persevere. In it reminds us that hearing God's word is just the beginning. The truly to be to be truly transformed by it, we must hold on to it, meditating on it and applying it to our lives. And this perseverance is not easy. It requires discipline and commitment. And there will be times when distractions and discouragement will try to pull us away from God's word. But like a farmer who continues to care for the soil, even after the seed is planted, we must continue to cultivate our hearts, trusting that in due time we will see the fruit of our efforts. So the imagery of producing a crop speaks the ultimate goal of this process. It's a fruitful life that glorifies God. A heart that is well prepared and receptive to God's word will naturally produce good fruit. Acts of love, kindness and patience and faithfulness that reflects God's character. It's a beautiful reminder that our spiritual growth isn't just from our own benefit. It's meant to be a blessing to others and a testament to God's transformative power. So Father, we come before you and today and asking for you to help in preparing our hearts to be good soil for your word 
we recognise that there are areas in our lives that need your touch stones of doubt thorns of worry and the hardness of unbelief so please remind these obstacles uh, remove these obstacles and soften our hearts so that your words can take root and help us to retain your truths and persevere in them even when it's difficult we trust that as we do we will grow in faith and bear fruit that brings glory to your name amen so how important it is to prepare the heart to receive the word so that we can see the harvest so until next t- till tomorrow i look forward to sharing with you there again then